Hi, and welcome to Social Distancing STEAM with the Everett Free Library. This is week seven, and this week we will be making circuit bugs. I'd like to start off by going over the items that you should have in your kit. There should be two wires, two LEDs, one clothespin, and one battery. You will need from home some electrical tape and a pair of scissors. I'd like to start off by sharing a little bit about circuits and what they are. Circuits are um, a path for electricity to flow from a power source through resistors. Um, a simple circuit will have maybe one power source, one, like a battery, and it will flow to one resistor. We'll call this our light bulb and back to our power source to let our light shine. Another type, uh, um, a modification of this is a series circuit. So you still have your power source And you have one place where it comes out. You have a light bulb or other type of resistor connected to another light bulb. And that is maybe connected to another light bulb. and to our power source. What happens if one of these lights burn out? Oops, your bulb went dead. And so now you have a break in your circuit, so electricity will not flow. That's a problem. If you only have one light bulb or two light bulbs in your circuit, it's not a, a big problem to figure out what, which one went dead, but if you have a whole string of lights, like your Christmas lights, it's a, a big project to take every single one out and test to see which is the, the problem bulb. A solution to that is a parallel circuit. So we have our power source. It goes to a light bulb. And to the power source. But we also have another one. That has its own path. And another one. that has its own path. So here, because there is a connection from your power source to each, there is a, a complete loop for each of these light bulbs. If one of them happens to, to um, burn out or, or for some reason go dead, your other two lights will, will still be lit. So we're, we're gonna build a parallel circuit today. You'll want to start out with each of your LEDs and test them with your battery. You may need to flip around your battery and light. Make note of which one connects to the positive side and which to the negative side of your battery. I'm going to bend the one that connects to my positive side out so I know which one it is. The positive side of your battery will have the plus, side, plus sign on it. And in my lights, it is the longer of my two wires on my LED. So I, I bent that one out and out of the way. 
I'm then going to take my black wire and split. I have a, a longer end and a shorter end. I'm going to split my longer end into two even bunches. Then I'm going to take my negative end LE of the LED, my negative lead, and wrap the wire around that one post. Wrap it around several times, make sure it's secure. And then use your battery to hold on to your other end and touch your copper wire to the back side of your battery. Your light bulb should come on. That is good. After you have after you have tested your light bulb, you know that it comes on. Wrap that in a piece of electrical tape to help hold it together. You can see I'm doing so here. Repeat this with your other LED. Wrap the piece of your wire, of your, your black wire, around the LED. Test that light to make sure that your connection is secure. If it is not, take your, your wire out, check to make sure that you have, um, make sure that you have both everything connected, check your light bulb, make sure that it works, and then wrap that other one in tape too. This just helps hold your wires together. Once you have them wrapped, take your battery, put your free ends of your LED on your battery, and touch the wire to the other side of the battery. Both of your lights should come on. If only one of your lights comes on, you may have the ends of your lights switched, and you'll need to. Um, take it out and switch it around. Um, you, you may have to take your lights out, test them individually, figure out which, which one belongs there. But once you have both batteries working, you'll need to, th that's a good thing. And you'll move on to your red wire. Split the short end of your, your bare copper into two bundles, two groups, about even. I'm going to straighten my free ends of my LEDs. And then wrap each one of those like we did with the black wire. Test your light. Hold your black wire to the one side of your battery, hold your red wire to the other, to the, the red wire should go on the positive side. Make sure your light comes on. After you have tested it, wrap it in and it works. Wrap it in electrical tape to hold it securely.
do that with your other free end of your LED. And test that again. Make sure that both LEDs connect this time. If they don't both come on, you will need to figure out where the, the break is in your circuit and fix it. There should be a continuous connection of wires. So you'll need to figure out where, where your break is. Wrap that in electrical tape. And after you have this, it's time to get your clothespin. You'll want to arrange this so that you have one of your lights um, at each of the points of your clothespin. If your wires are really close to your the, the clasp in your clothespin, you may wish to cover those with electrical tape. You don't want to lose um, extra electricity here. At this point, I'm going to cut a piece of electrical tape and tape each one of my eyes in place. So I'm going to put a piece of tape in between where you pinch and wrap that section to hold my eye in place. I'm going to do that with both of my eyes. As always, it is better to check to make sure that your eyes are still working at every step so that you can find where a problem might be than it is to make it most of the way and then realize that you have a problem. At this point, both of your eyes should be turning on and you should have free ends of your wire. I'm going to wrap that around my clothespin because we want to end up with free wire where your clothespin pinches close. Some of this will depend on how, how many wraps you can make will depend on how, um, how much wire, how much free wire you have and where you, you decide to put your, your wraps. There's no one right or wrong way to do this. You just need to wrap it partially down your clothespin. If you have lots of length, a good place to put a lot of that is in, in this gap. You can wrap a lot of your wire in there. And then you wanna wrap your copper, the free copper space, um, where, where your clothes would get pinched.
Sometimes it's helpful to give your wire a little bit of a twist to hold it all together during this step. My black wire is ending up right where it needs to make contact. So I'm going to strip a little bit more of that coating off. Um, if you have wire cutters or scissors, both of those work, but make sure that you cut only the plastic coating and not your copper wire. You want your copper wire to remain intact because that is how you're going to be making contact with the battery. Okay. Now I have a longer free end of my black and I'm going to wrap that in here with my red, where my red copper wire is wrapped. I'm also going to tape my free ends down on onto my clothespin. so that they aren't sticking out in the way. Okay, this is what I have at this point. Now is a good time to test your lights again. Make sure that they do turn on whenever you clip your battery in. You always want to test at every step. If you have gotten this far, congratulations, the hard work is done. You are ready to decorate your bug. I'm going to let my battery in um, to make sure that my connection is still secure. And um, it, whenever you get to the end, you need to make sure that you let space to wrap your pipe cleaners around your, your battery. I like to start decorating my bug by wrapping individual, um, individually each of my eye spaces.
And then moving on to the rest of my bug. Continue, continue wrapping with pipe cleaners until you have decorated your entire bug. Feel free to add wings and legs or a tail. I like to make my head one color and my body another. Make sure as you're wrapping that you stick the battery in. It does stick out um, farther than the sides of your clothespin, and so you'll want to leave space for your battery as you wrap as you wrap the end of your clothespin. As you continue to do this, I'm going to add some legs. So I'm going to, to add some black legs to my bug. You can either thread your legs through places you already have pipe cleaners, or you can choose to wrap um, the body of your bug in another layer. Either way works. Going to give my bug three legs. Or six legs, three, three sets of legs. You could make a spider with eight, or you could make a centipede with lots. However, you choose, it is your bug. <laughs> 